<laughs> hey, everybody. I'm just going to warn you that this show is going to be a mishmash. Okay? I know what that means, but there's going to be three parts to it. So I have a funny story before I start the show tonight. And thank you for watching. Of course, as always, I love having you guys watch the show. There is going to be a reading in this, but it's not going to be the way it normally is where someone calls me. So it's going to be a little bit weird. So we're just going to, we're going to roll with it. Okay. So speaking of roll, I guess, toilet roll, uh, I got a funny story for you uh, that happened today. And so the last time I, my son had a friend sleep over and uh, some things happened in the toilet doesn't work anymore. And so I woke up this morning and we're trying to fix it. And I think that's a boy job. I have this this mindset that's a boy job to fix toilets okay I don't I'm too pretty to do that okay so we got them the boys to try to fix it and it wasn't it wasn't fixing it was just staying in the grossness okay and so we had to call a plumber and the plumber came out like like maybe half an hour ago from from now and I was like stressing about the plumber and just I want to tell you that I mean it's a funny story but it's not funny story. everything is good it was going to cost me a lot of money but it didn't so luckily that worked out well but the funny part of this or the energy teaching part of this, and I've taught this before, is that your words and your conversations in your home are so important. So if you're talking about crappy things or you're talking about yucky things or things that are happening that you don't like and, you know, you're feeling kind of stuck and that energy is so powerful and it's an emotion, right? It's a vibration. So that energy gets stuck in your house. And it spreads into the walls and it spreads wherever. And if it has nowhere to go, it goes into an appliance or it will go into a toilet. And that energy of crap will manifest because it's so strong and it will plug your toilet. Okay, so I'm here to save you a lot of trouble. Stop talking about things you don't like because <laughs> it's going to save you a lot of trouble. Or if there's some emotions, we've actually had the dishwasher first before. Just, I just, it's, it's just what it is, right? But anyways, that's kind of a funny story. Just to be mindful of your words. Okay, mindful of what you're saying, because people don't realize how powerful your thoughts are and your conversations stay in the home and they stay in your energy field. Okay, so you, some of you might be like, what is she talking about? It's just the plug toilet, but there's way more to it. It's very energetic. Okay, so that being said, here's my mishmash, <laughs> my mishmash of, a, of an evening show. So, okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of tarot if there's time at the end, because I haven't done tarot, I don't think, on the show yet. I may be like one card, but I really want to. Uh, do a little bit of tarot but what's happened is and this hasn't happened in a while is I actually have a gentleman in spirit who has passed over now the weird part is I don't know who it's for so normally I would have a caller call in and I would be able to pick up on that person um, but what's happening is this gentleman who has passed over and as I'm talking my arm hair standing up which means he's very excited about this Whoever is watching this show live you need to really listen to this because he would probably belong to you there's a slight chance that he belongs to someone in the after party, but he is informing me that he belongs to someone here. So I want you to listen very carefully to this gentleman who is patiently waiting for me to deliver the messages. Now, normally in a mediumship reading, you need validation back. So I can't see any of your comments. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't get that validation back. So I'm going to present it and perhaps it's going to work out where someone's going to be like, hey, Jen, that's for me. You can message me after, but I really want to um, share this gentleman's information. So he is passed over. So. What he has told me is that he's an older gentleman. He did pass in an elderly state. He also passed in a hospice, so specifically a hospice. So not a hospital, not at home. It was a hospice, okay? I would say he passed recently. So he did not have the dreaded, you know what, it's going on around right now. Um, and I don't want to get flagged for that on my Facebook thing later. So I'm not going to say the word. But he did pass from something to do with the stomach and a cancer energy. So he would have had pancreatic cancer. Um, or an ulcer before that that turned into pancreatic cancer. The cool thing is, is that he did tell me he most likely belongs to someone with the name Anne in their name uh, or Stephanie. So it really feels like if someone with like a name with Anne with an E or Joanne, Marianne, someone who is watching this live, he belongs to you. Okay. And he also says that um, he would like to acknowledge someone named Stephanie. And that would feel like a family family member okay that he would like to acknowledge some details about him was that he um was stubbly at the end so he also told me that the person who he belongs to watched him pass so it was very painful for the person watching to watch their beloved most likely grandfather or elderly father go through this whole transition from 
being in one state of health into very rapidly declining and losing weight. He, he was proud of himself when he could shave. So he liked to be clean shaven, but at the end, he was not able to have someone help him shave, okay? Um, he, he said his name is John. So I know it's a very general name, but he gave me the name John, which is possible. It's not his name, but it does feel like his name would be a very strong regular J name. And I did hear the name John and I did get my sign for that. Okay. Um, he has daffodils in her hand. So daffodils would be very, very significant to the person. And he does tell me that his wife, he is still here. So it's a very strong message for his wife. So if you have lost that husband, um, not very recent, not very long ago, I would say within the last six months or so, it would have been, it would have been this year and it's only April, right? Um, so what he's doing is he's holding a uh, bouquet of beautiful daffodils in his hands and that would be significant. So he's actually saying they're not tulips. And this is hard to do when there's no validation, but I'm just going to keep going. <laughs> so I know that he has a small dog and I believe the dog is with the, the wife. So the Anne name, uh, I'm pretty confident that the woman who he left behind has something to do with the name Anne. Okay. So the dog is still here and what's happening, he says, is his wife is very distraught with trying to figure out if she should sell the house, okay? So when spirit crosses over, they're still concerned with what's happening here, especially if there was a husband, right? Because a husband would like, with the toilet thing, the husband would be the one who would handle that. Usually in my, in my world, that's a perfect world. <laughs> the man handles that kind of thing. And so he would have been the one who would fix things and he would maintain the house. So maybe that's how my toilet clogged today. I don't know. But he does wants me to tell this Ann woman, his wife, that it's okay to sell the house and some of his belongings can go. He's basically saying, don't hold on to the weird stuff. Just keep a couple of things that are really sentimental because, because I'm here with you all the time and it's okay to sell the house. So all of those things that I said, if you've written them down to recap, older male, pancreatic cancer, something to do with his stomach and ulcer. He passed in a hospice. He needed to be shaved and he prided himself in be, being clean shaven, passed in a hospice. Um, he also has a paper in his pocket. So there's some kind of significance of a letter to his wife or some kind of note that there is. I feel like his name is John. He wants me to tell the wife that he left behind that he, it's okay to sell the house. And I feel like this is a really important because I am feeling some relief now that I am delivering this message because sometimes I feel their pain physically and it only is relieved when I deliver the message. So I'm going to trust that the person uh, watching here live on the show or quite possibly the after party on Facebook saying a medium page will be able to take this man because he is very specific in his He's saying his offerings, but he's being very specific in his information, okay? And again, it is hard to do um, evidential medium when there's no feedback right away or no validation, but I'm trusting to put that out there. Whew. Like, I'm just thinking them ahead now, thinking about the toilet. I'm like, I really hope that wasn't him trying to get my attention because they will also do things like that. <laughs> but uh, this, this lovely John, male in spirit, um, is very concerned for his wife's well-being because he is saying she doesn't know if she should sell the house. And he's saying, yes, you can sell the house. It is okay. I will not be upset with you. So hopefully that gets into the right hands. So now I'm going to do two cards for you. Like I said, it's a big mishmash. One toilet story, one, uh, one John in spirit. Um, and yeah. And now we're going to do a couple of tarot. So this card that I'm going to do, the first one I'm going to do, hopefully have time, is um, for someone who is watching now. Or, or after is cool to the replay. Someone who is asking a question of spirit, should I quit my job? Okay, so that comes up a lot. And, okay, that's cool. Uh, so something that comes up a lot lately is people really noticing how unhappy they really are in their career, in their chosen career, because they thought it was a good job and they should do it. But there's something else that wants to come out, something more creative. And so this is the card. Um, that is coming up for that person who is watching who asked for a sign that said, should I quit my job? All right. And before I even pull the card, I hear, I hear the word perseverance. All right. Oh, good. okay. <laughs> so this is a very positive card. So if you are the one looking for a sign to quit your job, and I obviously don't recommend making a major life decision based on a tarot card or a psychic reading, but I do highly recommend following those nudges from spirit, like entrusting the signs for sure, because I was told someone wants to know if they should quit their job. 100% yes. Um, and I hear the song, here comes the sun, do, 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 do. Right? So here comes the sun. 
and is a very positive card. I believe this is one of the most positive cards you can actually get in tarot. I'm not a tarot expert by any means, but I do know intuitively, like, there's all this sunshine. There is a ray of hope. There is a way out. There is something that wants to, you know, beam upon you. The sun wants to shine upon you and keep you warm. And doing something that you love is 100%. Like, this is a beautiful card. It's like, oh, so much relief. Like, phew, like, right after I got my toilet fixed. Phew, didn't have to pay that much money for my toilet. <laughs> so that kind of energy of, yeah, for sure, that is your sign. Okay? So the second card that I'm going to do, um, I was going to do something else but now I feel like someone wants to know uh and there's a lot of people moving again um last week when I did my after party there was like 15 people on the show asking if they should move and all of them are moving okay so let's do a moving card am I going to move soon uh and this would be an indicator not your life major decision based on tarot again it's what I tell you but I had I've had people in the past who actually have made major life decisions based on what I told them so always use your always use your discernment okay um okay so should i quit uh sorry should i move where are like when am i moving okay that's the thing that's coming up that i'm gonna okay um okay so this is really cool uh ace of pentacles is coming up for you with this question so ace of pentacles again is new beginnings for sure with material objects with new beginnings right and so you can see there's some roots growing so it's almost like the message is coming through is like, you know how you've lived somewhere for like maybe 15 years and you think you're always going to live there. You always say, I'm never leaving this town. This is where I want to live my whole life. And then all of a sudden, bam, something happens. And you're like, oh my gosh, I thought I had roots down here. And now I need to pull up the roots. So this is an indication that you are not to stay in the same town. You're actually supposed to be more um, expansion and, and putting your horizon. So if you're meeting a lot of resistance and you can't find anything like I can take my own advice here. If you can't find anything in the town you're currently in, you need to dig up the roots and think outside of the box. And, and I'll tell you, there is no box. It's an illusion. But this is a sign for you to dig up the roots and examine the beginnings. There's new beginnings coming for you. It, ha it needs to be in a different town. It needs to be a fresh beginning in a new town. And actually, they're telling you it's someone who split from a partner recently. Someone has split from a from a boyfriend or a partner recently, and this card is for you to tell you, yes, you need to move it. Everything will work out for you. Okay? Okay. So that was quite the mishmash of a reading. Um, I'm trusting that I'm going to successfully locate um, Anne uh, with the John, and uh, we're going to see if we can connect them to. And I and yeah, and I want you guys to know that. This loved one in spirit has a very strong personality because for him to actually hang out with me for the past couple hours and really be very patient but very assertive and like, no, you need to do this on your show tonight. I really appreciate it. That is a very big indication that like he has, he really, really needs to connect with his wife who is left behind. Um, and he's so grateful. And I'm so grateful for the chance to do that. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you at the after party. See you later. Bye.